I'm going to use my champion shield. Yes! <laughs> champion shield. Okay, this was the one I was hoping to get, in all honesty, so I'm happy. A champion shield provides you with the immunity for one knockout vote. You have until the fourth knockout vote to use it for yourself. You must bring the champion shield with you when it's your turn to vote in private. Good luck, champ. I feel good. I'm just gonna have to go gut instinct on this. That's typically what I do. Um, just how I genuinely feel about how this competition's going, where everybody's head's at, um, you know, how I view people taking these challenges going forward head on. Um, I think that's gonna be how I make my decision. Champion shield in use. Okay. Not much thought, I mean, went into this one. Very few people to pick from between myself and Haley Marquezio. So, unfortunately, it was an easy decision. I feel really good about my place in this game at the moment, but I'm literally in the absolute worst position. Um, there's obviously only three of us that can vote and two of them are clearly not gonna vote for each other. Um, and I only have one vote, so. It's tough. Thought process on this is, I'm gonna use my vote blocker. Vote blocker gives you the opportunity to block someone's vote at a knockout vote. You have until the fourth knockout vote to use your vote blocker. You must bring this vote blocker with you when it's your turn to vote in private and select the person you are blocking. Good luck, champ. With that, I can block a vote. The thought process going into this vote is I know Haley Marie has a champion shield. I know Haley Marquezio has Double trouble. I'm pretty sure that's two votes. I'm pretty sure Haley's champion shield's obviously, I kind of know more, it's she's fully safe. The thing I do best in this game is escape votes and work with people. And I can see a path, but it just, it's very bleak. And I think because of these right here, I think that that could potentially seal my fate. I do have a vote block. I will be using it, but I still don't think it's enough because I know what each of the others has. So the only option I have is to vote for Haley Marquezio. And I know I'm probably gonna receive two votes, three votes. Haley Marie has a champion shield. This is the fourth time to use your power. No, they haven't used them yet, so everybody is using them. My power is... Ah, this fucking sucks. My power is like, I think, unfortunately, like, the weakest. But my saving grace in this is if Syl is smart, I think he knows that for the Sill RJ Me group alliance kind of vibe that we have, even though obviously yesterday happened, but that I think for that and for us to really, for one of us to be a winner of this game, 
Um, I think the best decision for him is to split up the Haley's. Um, because, and yeah, I mean, he doesn't want to be in the final three with those two. The worst position to be in in this house is on the block with two Haley's next to you. And when you have them together, um, if there was some other outcomes, I might have, could have turned. Um, but again, it's the fourth time and we all have our powers and we're all going to use them. And I think RJ would rather go up against one of the Haley's in a contender challenge than me. And I'm hoping that that will just affirm Sil's decision that he needs to buck the two Haley's, split that up. Um, they ran the game so far, so. <sighs> it's gonna be by the hair of my chin 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 though, because it's, it's gonna be tough. I feel like the fate is out of my hands. And that's a weird feeling to have. I am going, I've chosen to decide to block Haley Marquisio's vote with my vote blocker from the game of champ. All right, so I am using my double trouble today. We're down to the final three. I'm obviously not voting myself. <laughs> so that being said, I would like to try to deter as many numbers as I can for this decision. Um, yeah. This double trouble advantage provides you with two votes for one knockout vote. You have until the fourth knockout vote to use double trouble. You must bring this with you when it's your turn to vote in private. Good luck. Thank you, Bree. <laughs> Based on, I do have an alliance going at the moment. That's not gonna stay forever. Um, but that aside, performance-wise, Haley Marie, I just do not believe, is ready to go home. Um, and that's just simply the facts. Danny's also been performing amazing, but being a returnee, I've really been expecting some explosive energy out of him. Um, some of these challenges, he's done very well. Others, I feel like I'm just, I'm expecting a little bit more. So, out of the two, I love you, Danny. I'm so sorry. That is my decision. And that is with my double trouble perk. Now, as far as voting goes, Sil is an independent guy, thinks very strategically and with his heart. Um, so I don't know what that means for anybody, but at the end of the day, it is a game. And um, I would like to think that I'm in a good situation with Sil. So as you know, this is my first time on Champ Series. Mm -hmm. I was supposed to be here for three different series uh, seasons, and I was not able to make it. I found myself and my music and really stepped into my masculinity and was thriving through that. But for me, this is me trying to break out of that and just reminding myself and showing myself you are multifaceted and you, even though you might not feel comfortable being feminine, you deserve being comfortable being feminine because you are fucking beautiful. Mm -hmm. So all these challenges, I've been putting myself in extremely uncomfortable situations with my clothing and with my poses, but this is what this is for me. And again, like, for this being my first time, <laughs> by sick, all these things that have been happening, I still feel like I've been giving it entirely my all. And it's because you can see the hunger of why I'm here. Mm -hmm. And with these challenges, I just hope you hear deep down like what I'm about, what I represent, and just what, what the journey for me is in this experience. But I mean, the fact of the matter is we're gonna be down to final three, so you're not really safe with anyone anymore. I think especially after this vote is done moving forward. So we'll see how it goes. I don't want to pick either one of them. There's pros and cons to both. So I know what people have, and it just turns out that the four of us that told each other what we have is the four of us that are left. <laughs> so I know what people have. So I'm, I'm kind of anticipating the strategy that's going to go into play. I'm not quite sure what Marquisio's the double trouble means. I'm assuming she maybe has two votes or something. I don't know, but I know Haley has the champion shield, so I'm, ass I'm assuming I will not be able to vote for her. I'm assuming it'll come down to Danny and Marquisio. And so 
I'm gonna wait and whoever it is, these are just my assumptions. You can't make your call off of photos and stuff right now. I'm logistically gonna make my call based off what's happening outside of these walls because that feels right to do. And I think that's what's just gonna help me make my decision. It's just gonna be hard because uh, everyone is really showing up really well. Um, yeah. Welcome back. The votes are in. The two cast members who received votes are Danny and Haley Orkizio. The cast member the group has decided to knock out is we have a tie. What? So this was <laughs> the last round where the game of champ comes into play with advantages, disadvantages, and our four cast members here each have held on to their power to this point in the game, and that is why we have a tie in this vote. So Haley Marie activated her champion shield in this vote and you are advancing to the next round in the competition, along with Syl. Danny, would you like to share with the group what you have? Yes, I had the vote block, and uh, I obviously used it today. Uh, I had to use it, obviously we don't want to be here, so it was just, I had to use it in the game. And Haley? <laughs> so I had double trouble. Uh, which essentially is two votes instead of counting for one vote. Like Danny said, fourth round um, had to be used today, so I did put that in effect, but with the block, it seems it just kind of counteracted everything. So here we are. With the tie, it's truly up to Syl to decide who will be the next knocked out cast member and that person will be entered in the second contender challenge of the Contender Redemption Tournament. So Syl, mm -hmm. um, the power shifts to you now in this moment. Um, I hear you both, I see you both, I love you both. Uh, so this is really shitty because I don't want to pick either one of you, <laughs> but I have to, um, and it's a game. So um, I know when we all were talking at the beginning, we were just like, make decisions based off like logistics and stuff, right? And so thinking of that and thinking between the two of you, like logistically in this house, the challenges and stuff, you both have like shown the fuck up. Like with your photos outside of your comfort zones, Danny thinking of you and watching you last season and then what you've done here with your photos and even just like watching your 30 second, your champion thing or whatever. Um, You've grown so much as a person, and I didn't even know you other than watching the show. And Marquisio, hearing your story, and everything that you're doing outside of here, and growing as an artist, and just like, I mean, damn, bro, you got like songs on YouTube, and you got women like chasing after you, and like you're just doing your thing. Like you are so confident. You've got st this this beautiful swag about you, and I admire and adore that about you. Um, and so to make my decision. Um, I still went with logistics, but I used outside of these walls to help me with my decision. And Marquisio, you have your shit figured out. Like you're strong, you're growing. You like, you've got it figured out. You're just gonna keep growing. Like this doesn't stop or end for you in this house. Um, and Danny, this house doesn't stop or end for you either. But with the lost boy stuff that you have going on, the lost and found, um, a, lot of, a lot of questions for you in the world right now. I, I want to do my part, as little as it is, um, in helping you get one step closer to possibly winning this show. And so the person I'm choosing to knock out is Marquise. And for that sheer reason that you're a fucking fighter. And so if you go on that contender challenge, I'm betting my ass I'm gonna see you back up, back up here. Either one of you, either way. But. That's, 
yeah, that's that's how I made my choices. Uh, What's up, gang? So oh, Welcome. Oh, it's not a game. <laughs> oh, it's not a game. Right. <laughs> Homie, I chose you because you're, you're a fighter and you've you've got your shit figured out for being like, just so young and like so far ahead of where I was when I was your age. Like I admire the shit out of you, um, and it was not an easy choice. And. I respect that and the helper in me just wanted to help Danny out and give him the benefit of the doubt of getting one step closer. And then now it's kind of up to him and you're a fighter and I admire that about you. So, no hard feelings, but I had to I had to pick one. So Haley, you are entered in the second contender challenge. Your journey doesn't end here. You oh, have no, a chance to fight that. <laughs> Congratulations, Haley, Marie, Danny, and Syl for making it to the next round of competition. So obviously I'm upset. I'm not even upset, more so disappointed in the fact that I really feel like I have earned my keep in this show. Um, allies aside, conversations aside, I have given my 110% each and every single challenge while being sick as hell on top of it. And uh, I'm still proud of myself regardless. But at the end of the day, I'm very well aware that Danny and Syl do have an alliance. Me and Haley have an alliance. And this is where things get sticky and tricky with that. Um, I understand Syl's you know, explanation. He's a very, very wholehearted person. I know that that decision was not easy for him. I do not necessarily take it personal. But the truth of the matter is, I think I should not have been the one going home tonight, so I will be fighting as hard as I can to prove that yet again and again and again and again um, until I don't have any more opportunities to do so or I'm the champ. So we'll see how it goes, but regardless, spirits are high and my game face is back on. Um, they know I'm a strong competitor, so like I said, it's time to prove it. <clears throat> yeah, so the vote was um, when I tell you. And hopefully it just doesn't <laughs> bite me in the ass going forward, but we'll see. I know RJ is trying to figure out who voted for them. Mm -hmm. And I think I told you that earlier. Um, but RJ does know that I had to lose your vote. Mm -hmm. So RJ is like kind of eyeballing everyone to see. Um, but besides that, I'm sorry. I wish I could help you no, more. No, you're not. And I think you have already like a ton. And I yeah. think, like I said, I, I, I did not vote for you. I, I was over Well, RJ. I know. It, I and was thinking about it last night in bed. I'm, I'm counting up the votes. Like, it's four people RJ who voted. RJ voted, um, I think, for me the first time. I think just because nobody had circled in with him. And I guess it was just an easy option. I'm surprised nobody voted um, for Haley Marie. That actually surprised me, especially since he, she won uh, two challenges. I was expecting her face to be up there. Even she used her shield or whatever, but even with that shield, she said she didn't have any votes. So the the um I know you do you and Syl have an alliance? I know, but it kinda looks like So it. keep that low, because like okay. I think Syl and RJ I could probably trust the most. Even though RJ and I have that thing, I think yeah. the three of us are there. I do play this game so hard and it's like there's any moment something can fire off or there's things that I'm worried if somebody says to somebody else that if it gets out then I get ruined but um different hard decisions and I think again I, like if I'm if I make my case longer and I can make it through I think I I was the one that kind of pushed for Rufio because I realized like that was kind of where the consensus was. People had brought up his name and I was like, okay. I was very worried early on that it could be me right off the bat. Wanted to keep him, but he needed to go. So much Alexis, I had built an alliance with her, but that name had popped up and I had to obviously listen to that group, but know that that vote needed to go a certain way. Um, and I also couldn't afford to burn the Haley Bridge that early because I needed it potentially those votes if one of them had, you know, won again. I still need to work these girls though. So like when I'm like around them and like hanging out with them, it's purely just if we can try trying to, like, to keep that- Get something um, out of them. 
but um, they're they're being really tight lipped about stuff now, especially now. Oh, I can I can yeah, Haley Marie is looking freaking out. Um, so we just have to. I hope well, the last person I would want to come back is Marquisio. Yeah. Don't say you can like this cannot be. Repeated. Well, I will I will repeat this. But, I wouldn't even know how. I wouldn't even know what to say. Playing the game, very hard. Very, very, very hard. Thinking every possibility through to my best ability. RJ needs to think that Marquisio voted for him. If that ever comes to thing, he needs to think that Marquisio voted for him. I think in this game, you want to be able to control as many things as you can when there's so many things that you can't control. And with this game, it was really out of your control. So I'm happy that uh, it was done, but what a twist it created. Um, what a twist. A lot of suspicion, curiosity, chaos. Um, I think people were very on their toes and uneasy going into a lot of these votes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we need, yeah. No, you go. You know, that's good. I think that's everything. Okay, we need to get back in. What I'm proud of in this game that I, I think I've been able to do, which has gotten me to this point so far, is realizing who needs to go to get me to the next round. And I think that I've been able to do that very well, even though there's been a couple people that I obviously wouldn't have chosen, but I've seen what I've needed to do and to build my numbers later on that I'll have. And I've been able to do that. How many contender <laughs> challenges do you have to win to get back in the game three. again? Three? Three. So that means there may be three more? <coughs> no. No, like, like <coughs> from start to finish, like I would have to win two. Oh, and whoever okay. goes next would have to just win that one. So, um, your first one will be tonight. Yeah. And then if I won this, I'd have to win another one to get in. Anyways, I am not really sure what to expect. Um, obviously, this is not really how I anticipated the night going, but I'm embracing it for what it is. Um, I see curtains closed, house is shut off, so I've got a little feeling it's going to be something indoors, but I have no idea what the hell to expect. So, game on, we'll see. So I feel like going forward, competition is definitely going to turn up. Um, this is where it gets real. Everybody's used their game of champ advance. So we shall see. Next week on Champ Phoenix. Yeah! Do you remember the first ever champ challenge? Yeah. Champ challenge round five is dynamic 2.0. We're recreating the dynamic duos challenge from season one that was shot at Red Rock Canyon in Las Vegas. Want to know who you'll be partnered with? You'll have to wait and see. You want to see more from your favorite Haley's on Champ Series Season 3? Make sure you follow all the behind the scenes content on Instagram and YouTube. I guess we'll see you there.